Today in this video, we're going to be looking at this MPPT solar charge controller by Bouge RV. This is a 60 amp charge controller. It can do 12 and 24 volt. It has a 90 volt open circuit for your PV and it has a 95 volt protection and then a 90 volt recovery. So this charge controller can do 900 watts at 12 volt or it can do 1800 watts at 24 volt. This charge controller also has a Bluetooth app. So let's take a look at it now. This is the solar app. Uh, there is a QR code in the manual you can scan to download. So you can see here it's picking up the Bluetooth. We have a solar panel scale at the top. Charging is turned off. I do not have solar connected just yet. Oh, we can actually, there it is. We can turn the load on via the app. Okay, so battery normal. Uh, let's go up to the sprocket on the top right. And you can see the system voltage is set to auto and our battery type is lead acid. So you can see here we have user defined. We also have lead acid flooded uh, gel. So let's click on the lithium. And the parameters are set. So let's see what parameters they're set to. We can actually limit the charging. So I actually have a 50 amp breaker hooked up to my battery. So I'm going to go with 45 amp for limiting. Charging's turned on. Lower limit of charging in Celsius. So we actually might have temperature protection on this. So let's set that to, I'm going to go plus two. Upper limit. Let's bring that down to 50. This is actually really cool. Over voltage, float voltage 14.4, equalization prohibited, that's good. Cause this is lithium iron phosphate, it's not lead acid. And what are the load settings? Manual mode, light controlled delay, normally on. Okay, so you can have a normally on. I think light control is, yeah, so light control, if there's no PV, then the light's gonna come on. I'm actually gonna leave that on. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so let's add some solar to this and uh, see what happens. Now, today is a little bit cloudy out. There is some sun periods. So I'm gonna try and do my best to capture the sun. Uh, but today is my day for filming. So hopefully we get a good amount of sun for a good streak. Now I don't have any sun on the array, but I'm still expecting to possibly see. Oh, there you go, we have 17 watts. And you can see the current is 0 0.05, and the current going into the battery is 1.2 right now. So we are MPPT solar charging. And this is the array that I'm charging with. This is Bougier V 180 watt and that's their 200 watt panel. So I have these two connected in series. And another thing to note, once the PV came on, that light actually turned off. So you can almost use it as a night light. And with delay time, you can set it for, come on for an hour, come on for two hours. We've seen that in other charge controllers, which I think is really neat. I'm gonna wait a little bit. We're only getting about 21 watts right now. I'm waiting for that sun to come around the trees. Something to check with a solar charge controller is if you're positively bonded or negatively bonded. So I'm checking continuity. So with the positives, there's no continuity. And with the negatives, there's continuity. And also on this charge controller, the connection points here are a little different. So we have the load plus, and then the battery plus, and then the load minus, battery minus, PV minus, and PV positive. So normally we see on these is you have load positive negative, battery positive negative, and PV positive negative, but they changed this around here and had the three negatives together. I believe because on the inside, they just have a bar connecting these three terminals. So keep that in mind and make sure you're aware of that when you're making your terminal connections that you're checking the positive and negative and what they're for. Starting to get a little bit sunnier so you can see we have 100 watts. Now this is perfect timing to test the cold temperature sensor. 
Now you can see it's down at 13 because I started cooling this, but I forgot to turn my mic on. So let's continue cooling. See 10 degrees. Now this should disconnect around two degrees. And there you go. You can see we have low temperature protection through the charge controller. So that is gonna help out a lot of people who are trying to save money on their battery and they don't wanna necessarily fork out the money for low temperature protection on the battery itself. You can now achieve it through the charge controller. And there you go, you can see we're hit normal and charging is starting to commence. Uh, something else that was neat. So if I go to the settings and I've changed it to user defined. I like these settings better over voltage 14.8, charging limit 14.6 volts, 14.4 uh, for boost, float 13.8. I just like these settings a little bit better. We are going to current limit this to 10 amps. So you can see parameters set. Now if we go back, and of course we're not going to hit 10 amps. Let's current this down to 5. And you can see there at the top, current limiting, super power, and we are below 5 amps. So you can actually current limit this charge controller as well, which means you can over panel your system. So let's say you have like a pouch cell battery and you just want to do 20 amps, you could over panel for the uh, shaded days and low sun days, but then you can current limit for the full sunny day. So I'm going to bring this back up to 40.5 because I have a 50 amp charge con or a breaker. There you go, you can see I have 7.17 7 amps coming in roughly. So overall, I really like this charge controller. It has low temperature protection, has current limiting. It's just, it seems like a really good charge controller. So again, Bouge RV knocks it out of the park with this one. And we have Bluetooth, which is really handy. I really like that they have Bluetooth. So I'm gonna leave links in the description for the solar panels, as well as the MPPT solar charge controller. So check out the links below and thank you very much for watching. Bye.